Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel UG Mold Tech. In today's video we, exploring the world of thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. In this comprehensive tutorial, we will delve deep into the fascinating realm of these two key types of plastics. Understanding the differences between thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics is essential for anyone curious about the materials shaping our modern world. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update on the latest industry insights, tips, and tutorials. We are committed to helping you achieve your goals. Let's start with the number one. What is thermoplastic? A thermoplastic is a resin that is solid at room temperature but becomes plastics and soft upon heating, they have low melting point and when heated will soften to a malleable state or melt to a liquid state. This means they can be shaped into nearly any mold or design usually via injection molding or blow molding. The significant aspect of thermoplastic is their reversibility the ability to undergo reheating melt again and change shape without posing a risk to material properties. Friends next point in thermosets and thermoplastics is. What is a thermoset? Thermosetting plastics or thermosetting polymers are liquid resins at room temperature these polymers harden upon heating or the addition of chemicals. They have high melting points but once they are exposed to a certain temperature and cured to a solid state their components and physical properties become set. They can't be melted back or restored to their original properties. This solidification process is as a result of the formation of certain bond called cross-link that holds the molecules in place and change the basic nature of the material preventing it from melting. Friends next point in thermoplastic is. What is cross-linking? Cross-linking is the general term for the process of forming covalent bonds or relatively short sequences of chemical bond to join two polymer chains together. The term curing refers to the cross-linking of thermosetting resins such as unsaturated polyester and epoxy resin. Therefore it is often the case that all kinds of thermoset have the tendency to connect to one another and such a process of forming chemical links across called cross-linking or curing. Friends next point in thermosetting plastic is. What are the main differences between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics? The key difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics is in relation to their behavior after heating. The melting point of thermoplastic is lower than degradation temperature while that of thermostat is higher when heated after curing thermoplastic melts whereas thermosets do not and they retain a solid shape. All these diverging properties results from an underlying fundamental differences in their chemical structures. Friends next point in thermoplastic polymer is. Summarize difference in the properties and features of thermoplastic and thermoset. 1. Molecular structure thermoplastic they are linear polymers the molecular bonds are weak and are in a straight chain thermoset they are network polymers there is a high level of cross linking together with strong molecular bonds. Friends next point in thermosetting polymer is. 2. Microstructure thermoplastic they comprised of elastic amorphous and hard crystalline region in the solid state. Thermoset they comprised of thermosetting resins and reinforcing fiber in its solid state. 3. Polymerization thermoplastic undergo additional polymerization. Polymerized during manufacturing before processing thermoset undergo polycondensation polymerization polymerized during processing. Friends next point in thermoplastic products is. 4. Melting point thermoplastic melting point lower than degradation temperature, thermoset melting point higher than the degradation temperature. 5. Recyclability thermoplastic recyclable and reusable thermoset non-recyclable 6. Mechanical properties thermoplastic flexible and elastic with increased resistance to impact and has its strength from crystallinity. Thermoset brittle and inelastic rigid and strong it has its strength from cross-linking. Friends next point in thermosetting plastic is. 7. Solubility thermoplastic dissolve in organic solvents thermoset do not dissolve in organic solvents chemical resistance thermoplastic highly. 8. Chemical resistant thermoset chemical and heat resistant. Friends next point in processing of thermoplastic and thermosetting polymers is. Thermoplastic can be processed in various ways such as extrusion injection, molding thermoforming and vacuum forming. Thermoplastic granules are fed into the mold these granules are heated to melting point which requires very high temperatures thermoplastic are highly efficient thermal insulators therefore rapid cooling is undertaken to achieve a high output rate usually by spraying with cold water or plunging into water bath to cool thermoplastic film cold areas 
blown onto the surface the plastic shrink upon cooling the rate of cooling and shrinkage has an effect on the crystallization of the material and internal structures. Friends next point in thermosets and thermoplastics is thermosetting polymers a process in their liquid form under heat the curing process involves adding curing agents inhibitors hardeners or plasticizers to the resin and reinforcement or fillers depending on the required outcome types of thermoplastic and thermoset materials with their properties and applications examples of thermoplastic materials include 1 polyamide nylon tough and relatively hard material used for power tool casings curtain rails bearings gear components etc 2 polyvinyl chloride tough and durable material that is used for pipes flooring cabinets toys household fittings etc 3 polypropylene a light and hard material with excellent chemical Resistance used for medical and laboratory equipment string rope and kitchen utensils. 4. Low density polyethylene LDPE tough relatively soft chemical resistant. Material used for packaging toys plastic bags and film wraps. 5. High density polyethylene HDPE stiff hard chemical resistant material. Used for plastic bottles and casing of household goods other examples include acrylic polycarbonate ETC. Examples of thermoset materials are 1. Polyester hard stiff and brittle when not laminated used for encapsulation, bonding and casting. 2. Melon and formaldehyde they are hard strong and stiff with good chemical and water resistance used for work surface laminates table wares and electrical insulation. 3. Urea formaldehyde hard stiff strong and brittle used primarily in electrical devices due to its good electrical insulation properties. 4. Epoxy resin hard material and brittle without extra reinforcement used for adhesive and bonding of materials. 5. Polyurethane hard strong and durable material used in paint insulating foam shoes car parts adhesives and sealants. Other examples include silicon phenol formaldehyde. Advantages of thermoplastic can be recycled safe for food packaging can be blended with rubber or other fillers for strength flexibility and other features high corrosion resistance superb electrical insulation. Friends next point in examples of thermoplastic materials is thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics questions and answer. 1. What is the main difference between thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics? Thermoplastics can be melted and remolded multiple times, while thermosetting plastics undergo irreversible chemical changes during curing and cannot be remelted. 2. Can thermoplastics be recycled? Yes, thermoplastics are generally recyclable due to their ability to be melted and remolded. 3. Are thermosetting plastics stronger than thermoplastics? Thermosetting plastics tend to have higher strength and rigidity compared to thermoplastics due to their cross-linked structure. 4. Can thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics be used together in a single product? It is generally not recommended to combine thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics in a single product due to their different properties and behaviors. 5. Which type of plastic is more heat resistant? Thermosetting plastics are typically more heat resistant than thermoplastics, as they do not soften or melt when exposed to high temperatures. 6. Which type of plastic is more suitable for electrical insulation? Thermosetting plastics, such as epoxy and phenolic resins, are often used for electrical insulation due to their excellent heat resistance and electrical properties. Friends if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more informative content coming your way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.